What's up, people? All right, so uh, today I'm going to talk to you about uh, this tutorial I'm going to show you. Uh, it's called uh, Ultimate because it looks like a number eight uh, multiple times. It's pretty cool. It's not like the uh, Infinity Coil, but uh, kind of looks like it a little bit. But anyway, you'll see, you'll get uh, what I mean about it. Um, you're probably gonna love it uh, because it looks pretty. It looks a lot pretty. And I'll show you also how to gain colors out of uh, wires. Uh, what you'll need to do this build today, it's gonna be... Um, the way I did it, it's a Clapton Clapton with a Clapton, alright, you'll see what I mean. Um, I'll show you how to do it. My wire is gonna be uh, pre made, which is gonna be uh, made out of 36 gauge core and 38 gauge core. Uh, not core, but the uh, wrap, alright. And after that, I'm gonna take that little Clapton and I'm gonna Clapton it on 28. Uh, that's what you'll need if you want it I'm doing my build um, you are also gonna need two of uh, 1.5 millimeter screwdriver you'll need two uh, it's very important you'll need like the usual uh, the cutters the long nose uh, cotton uh, you know like everything you need to uh, do a build uh, usually and uh, an addy that will fit the wire that uh, you want to use so uh, we'll go down and I'll show you how to do this all right see you in a bit all right guys uh, to do this build uh, that's what you're gonna need uh, me, I already pre-made uh, my tiny Clapton. Uh, you're gonna need um, some 36 for the core and 38 for the the wrap to do that small Clapton. And we're gonna Clapton that tiny little Clapton over that 28 gauge. All right. So that's what we're gonna do in a second. Let me set this up. So yeah, hi guys, so now I already pre-stretch a tiny little piece of 28 gauge Nichrome 80 and I'm gonna put in the chuck of the drill. And when I put in the chuck of the drill, I always do like a, an angle. So this way it stick and it won't turn after that. And now I'm gonna take that tiny Lapton that I pre-made with 36 gauge and 38 gauge. And we're gonna clapton it on this. And by the way, I I done I, I did about let's say a yard of uh, that tiny little Clapton and people who know me uh, they know that little thing right here uh, that little thing it's only a pipe or a tube that I put on my table that um, I put my wire in it to avoid going all over the place and get bent and get crooked or get caught it works good for all type of uh, stuff you need to clapton like even multiple wire it works amazingly good so now let's clapton this
truck and uh, I don't know if it's gonna focus but that's what you get it's really pretty really pretty and very very uh, full of flavors so now how we gonna do this it's um, I'll take two screwdrivers those ones are uh, 1.5 millimeter so now you're gonna need your Hadi close enough something with uh, post hole big enough you're gonna need uh, two 1.5 millimeter screwdrivers and your piece of wire that you pre-made and actually guys you don't need to use this wire you can use a plain clapton you can use like actually a plain wire you know just a 24 gauge uh, plain wire can do the job plain clapton you can be creative and use like all kind of wire just pretty much like this one so the way we start doing this we gotta go let's say like in a eight pattern all right so the way we're gonna go we're gonna first do one loop pretty much let me focus a little all right we're gonna do like let's say a little half loop like this then we're gonna take your second your second one you're gonna put it like under like this all right and the way you're gonna go you're gonna go the opposite side you're gonna come back in and you're gonna bring your wire back in like this all right you're gonna keep it nice and tight and then you're gonna go over the top once again come back in loop under go back in on top So you get you get the the, 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 the idea. All right. Let's say I'm gonna do it like only that many reps for now. All right. So that will, that's what you should get right now. Wait 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 wait. Uh, anyway, you should get this. We're gonna mount it and we're gonna fix it after. All right. So for the mount, simple, you mount it. <laughs> Actually, the RDA that I use, always love building on that RDA. I've been having it for a long time now. I actually have two of those. It's uh, the Dragon RDA from uh, Cy Green. Pretty decent, authentic RDA. I love blowing clouds with it. Sorry if I get out of focus from time to time, but. You know, that's what you should get right now. All right. So I can cut those leads at least a bit. I always leave myself room to go grab it with some pliers if in need. Then you can remove those. Put it on the other side to just fix it. To make it nice and tight, pretty much like any other coils. And there you go now you have that nice crazy eight looking build all right so now we're gonna zoom up a little bit and we're gonna 
check how much home that we get out of this. I'm gonna use my lovely X cube. So you get like a one ohm, a one ohm build with this. So you can actually make two like this and use it uh, dual. Pretty, pretty decent. I usually use bigger, bigger uh, wires too, so. Right. Let's turn this up. Shots of this are gonna be really nice. So, this is what you get with this. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Alright, let's go back up and I'll show you the wick. Well, before going up, I'm gonna pause this, take a few shots, and I'll wick this. We'll be right back. So, it's wicking time. So, all you need is wick, scissors, tweezers, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, tweezers and a little screwdriver or a little something to tuck this in so yeah so you gotta make sure when you make it uh, that um, it gets straight enough so you have like a hole straight to it and another thing you gotta make it small enough that it does fit on it with the cap so uh, that's why I made it with uh, that um, 1.5 screwdriver because you gotta keep in mind that uh, since I used 28 and I clapped in, I clapped in on top of it, the wire gets pretty big. And you're gonna get high home, of course, because there's like uh, lengths of wires. Like I said before, you know, you need about like a yard, a meter to make maybe this long of wire. Uh, of course, you're gonna get some of this. So, let's start. So to me, I'm gonna wick this pretty much the same way you wick any other coils. I want to do something fancy I just use one piece of wick and I go up and then I go back down and I do it so as usual I think I made this one a little thick take about like two and a half three, three millimeter uh, I mean thick wide and of course 
So you start with bottom. Let's lock this. been asking me to do a tutorial about it or to do tutorial about funky stuff I think this is pretty funky and like you guys can see in my building I use a lot of Clapton on Clapton because these things are so flavorful I use a lot of stack ribbon too because everywhere you're juice can get better it is better flavor you'll get that is a guarantee win and again when you do funky build there's nothing easy like making crafting the wires are pretty easy it's mostly mounting it that is the hard part waking it you know so again this is too friggin tight gotta remove those little wick because you know it's harder when you uh, try to do something after. And me, I'm using pads, but uh, probably for this would be better. It's uh, fiber freaks. I don't know why I didn't use that, but anyway, I'm using the most common stuff that people will have in hand. one I'm gonna cut the, the, the side pretty short because I just want them to get at the bottom and touch the bottom of the weld that's it because we gonna have the one on top who's gonna go totally wrap everything
and this as a dual build is freaking awesome for the tutorial I'm just doing one because it's long enough but that's what you're getting that's with no juice I'll put juice it's all gonna flat down okay what am I gonna use for juice there you go funnel cake liquid liquidy juice you guys gotta go check them out www.liquidyjuice written right at the bottom right here yeah they have awesome flavors on their own line they have like a custard line called temptation which is amazing they carry all the big lines like uh, Flavor Suit, uh, Midnight Vape Co, and Johnson, Mr. Good Vape, uh, Space Jam, uh, Charlie Chuck Dust. Anyway, they have a lot. You gotta go check them out on their uh, website. Mm, beautiful. I love when it's bubbly like this. That's where all the flavors at. Oh yeah. Yeah guys. So that's what you're getting if you're building this guys. We'll see each other right up there. So I can have a vape of it. Talk to you in a sec. Okay guys, we're back. Um, this is it. This is what it looks like once uh, once it's whipped. Pretty nice. This is a high home build, so feel free to try it. You can go nuts with this. Um, I'll see you on the next tutorial. And by the way, make sure to check out uh, the links following up. Um, Liquid E Juice, one of the best uh, distributor of juice, and actually have their own juice. It's excellent. Um, also, this thing mod creation coming out with two freaking cool mods, uh, which actually is gonna have my builds in it. And uh, also, vaping story at 613 Somerset in Ottawa. 
go see Hoon. He's like one of my bro. I love this guy. Um, so yeah, take it easy, guys. Vape safe and make sure to use a home meter to check out all your builds. All right, take it easy, guys, and talk to you in a bit. Peace.